All right, man, it's unknown. It's Anthony Davis is going to play in a season opener with um, 30th. I think it's going to be on TNT. I don't know. But uh, against the Clippers, excuse me, he suffered an uh, eye injury uh, in one of the scrimmages. So I didn't know it was that significant. I seen him go down. But uh, let's talk about that. And also, it's being talks that the NBA could be played in the bubble in 20, the 2020 and 2021 season. So the next following season, let's talk about that as well. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. There's no point of putting Anthony Davis out there, to be honest. Um, it's just not. <laughs> you know, you, you're not playing for nothing. you playing for seeding. I get it. I mean, but, you know, being a number one seed, you should have had an easier road. I think they five and a half or five games up on the Clippers. Um, you know, but at that point, it doesn't matter. I mean, the second seed might have to see a little tougher competition. But if you're the dominant team in the Western Conference, it shouldn't really be any issues. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, Kawhi is not shooting the ball particularly well. Um, the Clippers, you know, Montrez here, I don't know if he came back to the bubble. Lou Williams will miss the Thursday game. So, if you're not having Montrez and you're not having Lou, you know, so, I mean, why not play? Well, LeBron, you should be able to beat them. Um, I know they still got Paul George, but you got Deion Waiters playing well. J.R. Smith looks like he's playing well. And if LeBron is the MVP and he the king, you should be able to beat that type of Clipper team. But people just talk about that one game that the Clippers uh, lost to the Lakers. And they act yeah, like the Lakers just, like I was listening to ESPN, you know, just shortly down. I don't listen to his first take, but it just happened to be on our turn the tube on. And he like, and want to do so. Well, they ran through the Clippers and they ran through the Pelicans and they ran through. I'm like, they ran through the Clippers like they barely won that game. So everybody have their facade or their imagination about what happened. People forgot they beat them twice, once without Paul George. So, you know, everybody got they, this imagination that the, the Lakers, because they won one out of three games with the Clippers, they dominated. The Clippers shot terrible that game, and they got some good shooting from Avery Bradley, who ain't no longer, who ain't there right now. So, you know, at the end of the day, the media going to spin it how they going to spin it. Um, to me, I don't think it's worth playing the worst the Clippers. Um, the, you know, Kawhi, from what I hear, when I see, he ain't shooting the ball well. Um, no Lewis Williams, possibly no Montrez Harold. Um, why, I mean, come on. I mean, why not? You know, why, why, why play him at this point? You know what I'm saying? Let him heal. You don't want that eye to get any damage, but he can't put goggles on the play. You know what I'm saying? You want him to have that rhythm before going into the playoffs, but you also don't want him injured before going into the playoffs or getting a, a, a detached retina or whatever, some serious injury. So what I would say is I would let him heal up, you know, in about three games. Then I say, you know, throw the goggles on if you have to, you know, and then you go out there and you hoop with the goggles on, you know, but do your little James Worthy. But I don't think it's really nothing to be concerned about. You five games up with eight games to go. I think LeBron could beat the, the majority of the teams on the schedule, maybe even the Clippers because Kawhi seemed like, he ain't in sync, and people forget he got to the bubble late. Um, and and I think he had the coronavirus and couldn't go outside and do much. So, I mean, to me, I've already said whoever wins this, I'm putting that. I know I'm not counting it. You know, people, it's harder. No, it's not harder. It's bullshit because a lot of players ain't going to play the way they need to play. Middleton and, and Siakam, they ain't trained in, in three. They ain't touched the basketball in three months. You know, people say, well, why that's on their fault? They should have been training. You can't train if you in certain countries got you locked down. Or you in certain states and cities that's on, on lockdown, ain't nothing you really can do. Everybody don't have a mansion in the weight room and all that treadmills and shit. So a lot of people thought it was over with until the NBA tried to recoup that $600 million from the players. And the players got up on their feet, you know what I'm saying, and started moving and getting ready to play again. And people said, well, basketball is an all-around sport, your sport. Patrick Beverly saying this, that, and third. But everybody wasn't looking for it to start. It ain't, it ain't, a fair, it ain't fair. And everybody ain't there, you know, but... It is what it is, and if LeBron lose, his apologist is going to point out everything that I've been saying. If he win, they're going to try to spin it as the best thing since life's bread. It's not the lockout season. The lockout season, they still play, what, 50 or 60 year, sixty games. I'm not talking about the one LeBron won, but the one in 99, you know. So it is what it is, man. But uh, they talking about they might play the NBA season in the bubble next year. So I don't know if all Western Conference teams are going to be in the bubble on the West Coast. And all the Eastern Conference teams are going to be in the bubble on the East Coast. But um, they preparing for that. And I also heard they're preparing to play without fans before announcing they may do another bubble. So, I mean, that's just the way it's, it's probably going to have to boil down to it. Um, you know, the NFL is hoping to do fans. I know in the U.K. they they having some capacity fans starting in October, I believe, of some of their sporting events. So, boxing is expecting to do a few fans as well pretty soon. 
Also, they are doing trials runs for the vaccines. I think it's for 30,000 people across America. They are uh, looking for volunteers. They're paying people a thousand to try out the COVID-19, which, you know, they should know. They won't know the results until next year. So, um, so who knows where this is going? Some football teams are preparing to have capacity crowds. Um, so we got to see where it goes. It's a long way before they start next season. And a lot of things can happen. We could take three, 10,000 steps back. We can take 50 steps forward. A lot of people saying after the election, this thing is going to go away. And if it does, it's just let you confirm everything I know about politics and about the government. But, I mean, they're preparing for the worst, and that's what you got to do in this business. So let me know what you guys think about should Anthony Davis play uh, come Thursday versus the Clippers, or should they save him to make sure 100%, or should he throw in the James Worthy goggles? That might be a, that might be a lot before a lot of people's times here. But and let me know what you think about the NBA playing in the bubble next season. I heard next season could start in December. Um, and that won't lead them a lot of ground to play as well, neither, because if the season ends and, and what they say, is it August or September the season? September's the season post in? No, October the season post in, I think, or some shit like that. So you say September, um, I mean, shoot, November, and then you get one month off and you go into a season, that's going to be tough. So I see how they do that. But, hey, let me know what you guys think about the video. Let me know if y'all think Anthony Davis should play or not play Thursday. Let me know what y'all think about the NBA restart and about them playing in the bubble next season. Don't forget to check out our NBA Talk playlist. Don't forget we're on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. You can reach out if you got a business question, inquiry, response, your video request, or you just want to chop it up for a question. All my social media links there. We got a, uh, a Facebook group as well, too. Want to make a donation? Cash out, PayPal, description. Best way to donate, share the video. One time for the one time we gone.